Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage. Well, we're working on the oil pickup tube and I've already cleaned this. I'm just gonna explain to you how I did it. Um, first off, this is the O-ring we're gonna use. This replaces the OEM red one. Uh, this would replace the blue one um, if you have a different engine uh, for the oil pump. Um, we're not going to use this one. It's smaller cross section too. It's another way you can tell this one's a little fatter. But that's going to go on last and I'm, where I'm going to show you how to properly push this up to the uh, to the oil pump so that you don't damage the o-ring. You don't damage uh, your engine obviously when you lose oil pressure. So how I cleaned this was I got some brake cleaner and I flushed it down inside there and I used quite a bit of brake clean and then kind of hard to see here but actually sprayed the brake cleaner down inside there all the way around between the screen and this outside housing and I got quite a bit of junk out I was surprised it was a little bit covering the screen it looked like uh, the stuff kind of looked like dried out um, Loctite but I'm not sure what it was there wasn't a whole lot of it I mean it wasn't gonna plug it up but um, so anyway, after I did that, um, I went ahead and took the garden hose. That's right, I used water. And under uh, pressure, flushed this out and also flushed this end out with water as well. Now, water is gonna be trapped in here, so I'm going to go ahead and get some acetone. I would use alcohol, except I don't have any. Um, you could use E85 uh, because the water would absorb into the alcohol of the E85. But <clears throat> I'm going to use acetone because acetone and water are soluble. They do mix. Acetone and oil do not mix. So I'm going to flush this out with acetone and dump it out. Flush this end out with acetone and then uh, hit it with the, uh, the air nozzle. And that way I know it's good and dry and there's not going to be water in my oil. If you have a parts washer at home, that would probably be the best way to clean it, especially if you could pressurize it and uh, push some of the junk out. Um, the only pressurized I had was the hose and also uh, the brake cleaner, which I did spray brake cleaner all the way over inside it. And uh, you know, I'm just trying to get rid of any excess water that's inside it. I think I've just about got it. Most of the water was inside this bell. And I think it all went all over the diaper anyway. The nice thing about acetone is it dries really, really quick. So we're not going to have to wait for it to dry. So I'm going to use this uh, engine slick. This is what I used on the cam when I put the cam in the car. Um, I've used it before when I did the uh, when I removed the oil pump uh, in one of my previous videos, and it works good. It's super slippery. So I'm going to go ahead and put that all over the sew ring, all over here, and then I'm going to put it up inside the oil pump where this mates up. Uh, to make sure that everything is lubricated. I don't want any dry parts rubbing on this o-ring.
getting coated. Well coated. This is the hardware. This uh, bolt goes here. And this is called a girdle. And this will actually go on the other side. So if you look in your oil pump, there's two holes. GM only used one. And uh, you can get these girdles. And they uh, support the other side. I believe that screw comes with it. I did have to modify my uh, Allen key to make it a little shorter here. So I could uh, finagle it in there. But a little extra insurance in case this one comes loose, and this one comes loose, and this one comes loose, which I doubt they will. But I wanted to show you something special about these nuts. If you look there, you can see the triangle. These are called crimp top lock nuts, or crimp locks, or top locks. And if you look down in the hole, you can see it's not really round, it's kind of triangle shaped because they, where that triangle is, that's where they've pushed in on the hole and so it makes it tight up against the threads and it locks. They're really meant for one use only. Um, you can get two uses out of them, but uh, I would definitely use a blue Loctite on it just to help it out. Of course, you need to make sure that you torque it properly. Um, or you can buy new ones, which is probably the best thing to do. So here's where the pickup tube goes on the oil pump. This would be the hole for the girdle that I was showing you, the screw hole. Uh, the OEM one's back here. Pretty easy to get to when everything's torn off the front like this and the oil pans off. Much harder to deal with these if you've only lowered the oil pan you know an inch and a half or so in order to get a new pump on I did that video it's a pain and you could really uh, lose it real quick especially this this bolt here can drop in the pan I had string on it and string on my wrenches and everything else but I need to get some of the slick up there inside here so I'm gonna have to do that all by hand and just rub it up in there and make sure it's all coated and good Make sure my glove is clean. Put some on the back side here. I can feel where that o ring rests in there. Just gonna make sure it gets everywhere. Now there is some flashing in there. I would be very careful. You don't slice your finger open on that. It's super sharp. So when you're spreading the stuff around in there, just be aware that you can cut your finger open on that. So I'm getting my tool ready to install the nut, at least to hold. Um, once I press this in, the tube in, I need to have something hold it in while I get the screw and the girdle on. So I'm just going to put this on temporarily. Um, then I'll, once this is tight, I'll go ahead and blue lock tight these two and torque them to spec. And I'll show you what those specs are. But I got to get that nut ready when I put that tube up there. So I'm going to be under the car, but you'll see it come up. And the object is to get the tube to press straight in. You don't want to come in at some weird angle because that will... Um, you could possibly pinch the o-ring or roll it, uh, which would damage it. And that's the hard part when you're doing this with the pan on is, well, first of all, the pickup tube still attached in two points in the back, but trying to get it to come straight in, you, you really almost can't. That's where this slick comes in really uh, well because it, it's so slippery. So I want to make sure I don't touch anything with the... Uh, with the pickup tube. Just going to get the nut started a little bit. 
just so I don't have to deal with it holding the thing up. Okay. So now the nut is holding the pickup tube and the pickup tube is just sitting in there. I'm going to pull it straight into the pump. It shouldn't take much. There we go. It just pushed right in. There was some tension there, which is good because that means the O-ring's doing its job. All right, there we go. Get that started. All right. So we're gonna tighten all this up before we tighten the nut up underneath those two nuts. I just have that nut holding the tube so the tube doesn't move all around when I went to set it, when I went to pull it straight in. So on our previous video, we showed installing the oil pump and that the oil pump bolts are torqued to 18 foot pounds. So now we're here to the pickup tube, the O-ring. So that bolt is number 405. 404 is the nut. Do not allow the bolt to pull the tube into the pump. You have to push the oil pump screen tube completely into the oil pump prior to tightening the bolt. Align the oil pump screen mounting brackets with the correct crankshaft bearing cap bolt. That's kind of self-explanatory when you're in there. Um, so the bolt is going to be torqued to 106 inch pounds, not foot pounds. Obviously that would be a ton. And then the nut is going to 18 foot pounds. That's foot pounds, not inch pounds. So 106 inch pounds for the bolt, 18 foot pounds for the nut. This one I'll probably torque. This one, I doubt if I'll even be able to get a torque wrench on it. So we're just going to make it tight. Um, if you take 106 and you divide it by 12, that gives you the foot pounds. So 8.33 foot pounds, not much, nine foot pounds. So probably a lot less than what you'd want to use a foot pound wrench for. So 106 inch pounds for the bolt. So it's almost nothing, eight foot pounds. Tighten it by hand, you'd be good. And then um, the nut. You could put a little bit of blue Loctite on that if you want, but with this as well, and I didn't put any blue Loctite on it the last time, and that bolt was pretty tight because I think I actually over tightened it a little bit. And then we'll get, get the nuts on to 18 foot pounds once we have um, it tightened up on the oil pump. So, looking underneath, you can see that the tube is square against the pump, it's not uh, tilting to one side. I still haven't tightened that, that bolt. You can see there's a little bit of air gap there. I just wanted to show you that that has to be flat when you tighten the bolt. You see that girdle's got like a notch there. And this bolt spins freely in there. So I'm just gonna reach into here and tighten this finger tight as best I can. Go ahead and put the girdle in. Yeah, see, I need to. <laughs> so that's how it's going to look going to be flat against there and then it just holds the bottom so I am not going to be able to fit a torque wrench in here unfortunately you can see the size of the torque wrench I mean it's not no way not even close so I'm going to tighten it by hand it only has to be the nine foot pounds 106 inch pounds so it doesn't have to be cranked on. That feels good. We're gonna come over here. Make sure that's up again. 
against there, which it is. Now we're going to go ahead and tighten the Allen for the girdle. I like having this, especially if I'm not using Loctite. That's uh, at least nine foot pounds. But it's not so much that the screw is going to break. So now that we have these two set, we can go ahead and go underneath and torque the nut to 18 foot pounds. Okay, so we're under the car. And here's the bell. That's the dipstick. Here's the nut that we initially put on to help hold the pickup tube. And then we've got another one right here. We just got a little brake cleaner on this rag. Just gonna get the excess oil off. And then I've already got blue Loctite in the nut. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. So pretty much the blue Loctite is all over on the threads. And the nut is once it gets a full bite on the threads, it gets really hard to turn because it's the locking nut. Oops. I didn't realize I was sitting there. Okay, so I wiped that down with brake cleaner and I sprayed the nut out with brake clean. Try to get just a majority of the oil out so the Loctite can kind of do what it's supposed to do. Dab off the excess. The Loctite works by as soon as there's an absence of oxygen it starts to get hard. You know, having clean parts helps but um, it'll still get hard in the threads. All right. Torque wrench is at 18 foot-pounds. Go up here to this one. Okay. Yep. Just gonna go back and double check them, and then this will be done. On. Don't forget, these are the last thing you do. You always tighten the pump up first. So it's a nice square fitting up against the pickup tube.